We're having a conversation with to our studio, and it's very far. <laughs> you, it yeah, how many minutes? minutes? 50 minutes to get here. Yeah, but we really appreciate it. But that's also because I navigated, I used like um, a different route. If I'd used the other one, it would be one hour plus. Yeah, yeah. But how are you? How is everything going on your side? Yeah, I mean, everything is good. Mm. Um, we're hanging in there, you know. Uh, you always have your ups and downs and patches, but you just try to hang in there and just do what you have to do. So, yeah, so I would say the last two years I've spent more time in the studio. Mm -hmm. I'd say the last year, to be specific. You know, I've spent more time in the studio, and, yeah, it's been a great therapy. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Uh, so many wishes on social media right there. How did you spend your birthday? Um... Uh, well, we, I spent it with my wife. We went to have some lunch and I had a surprise visit from my mom-in-law. And I basically spent it with the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of your daughter was born in the same month that you were born. Yeah. And I'm uh, looking at it saying, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two days before my Knowing that the fact that you're still appreciated. I mean, it's, now. It's, it's humbling, you know. Um, come to think of it, you know, there's so many years that I've, I've spent in, in the industry. I mean, it's humbling. I mean, not all, all of it will be positive. I mean, there's still some people that, you know, will still take shots at me and, um, but it's, it's, it's understandable, you know, you're not going to make everybody happy. You know, some people will see it in a different light, but overall, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's very humbling, you know, and, and it's all because um, of the hard work, you know, I consistently kept innovating and you know keep pushing myself you know I always feel like I'm just studying and and I guess most of the times I even forget that I'm in that position you know I always I'm always hungry you know what I'm saying I always feel like I'm just studying and you know when I do a project I forget about it I go to the next one you know for me it's like I'm studying all over again and uh, yeah and I guess that's why I'm in this position now mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the other thing that has also been talked about on social media uh, you are about to drop an album, yeah. uh, which most of us were looking forward to <coughs> what the package is about. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's talk about the, the motivation behind the album. There's been so much misunderstanding yeah. regards with <laughs> it was the names that you brought out. It, it was deliberate. You know, when, you know, I have capitalized uh, what I see on social media. So when I was even doing the artwork for the album cover, I knew that's the sort of reaction I was going to get. But you see, that's the reaction that I wanted. Uh, for me, it, it was a it was a good marketing strategy. It, it worked out pretty good. I would have done any cover if I wanted, but me just putting four artists and calling a family reunion, I knew exactly what kind of reaction I was going to get. But you know, um, I was a little disappointed because uh, some DJs or some some journalists, mm -hmm. instead of calling me and asking me, ran with the narrative that you know, uh, what was KB thinking? How can you do this and. But you haven't come to ask me and ask me, KB, what's the album all about, like you are doing now, mm -hmm. you know? If mm -hmm. you had asked me, I would have explained to you the rationale about what I was trying to do. So, so when I did that, when I, when I announced, you know, I announced that, you know, album coming out and I'm calling a family reunion and I just left like that. So if you see on the table, there's me, there's t Sean, there's J Cash and there's TAP and there's a plate that is empty. You know, okay. on the side. If you look at the yeah. artwork, you know, there's a plate that is empty, and and I deliberately did that so that you know, uh, some people notice like, ah, oh, but no, but there's a plate that is empty. That just shows you that it's a continuation. So the family reunion was birthed from a song on an album. I'll put out the track list so you'll be able to see the name of the song. So there's a song on an album that I created. So when I created that song, then family reunion came to mind because. Just like Diary, I, I thought of another mini series. So this is going to be like a really mini series, like maybe a four or five part series where I'm going to bring back all the artists that I signed. But my plan ideally was to start it from the top. So my plan ideally was to start it like from Judy, Alpha, J Cash, you know, something that was the plan, like to start mm -hmm. going from that order coming down, mm -hmm. you know, but obviously um, I was not successful, you know, with the, with the first one. So I said, that's not a problem uh, because of something happening at that particular time. So I said, okay, that's fine. Then I can start it from here. Then I can go with J Cash, TAP, and, and Tishon. Then, you know, on the next one, I'll move on to the next one, just like that. The next one until I exhaust everybody. I mean, if, if I, I'll reach out to everybody. I mean, if we don't hear them on it, 
then just know that I tried and, no, 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 and, no. and, and, and it didn't happen. There and that's the, what people don't, just yeah, give me a second, yeah. and that's what people don't understand, you know? And there's a lot of things that has been said. You see, one thing that people will never understand is that people don't know what happens in the background, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? People just sit and just assume that, oh, this guy, and you know, and, and people get to a point where they even start to insult you. Like, mm -hmm. if you've never known what goes on in the circle, people just say, hey, this guy is a, is a bad guy. How is it possible that I'm a bad guy, but I'm able to unite the rest of the people? You know, just not long ago, people said me and Tishon would never reconcile, and you know what I'm saying. And you know, Tishon now is on both of my albums. You know, we talk almost on a, on a daily basis. Same thing with with J Cash. And oh, but J Cash said in the song, and I love to say J Cash is a rapper. He's a creative rapper. You know, sometimes you have to say things. You know, to get people talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise, there's absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? There, there, there was a statement that was put out, not by you, but yeah. by the management. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Which, which I'm trying to understand yeah. where they said um, the team reached out yeah. to some artists. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. We did. I personally reached out. I, I, I personally reached out. I, I did. And if the question is, did you reach out to Alpha? Yes, I did. Um, have I been speaking? Yes, I've been speaking to Alpha ever since. You know, we've never broken any communication. You know, um, I've been speaking to him, and uh, everybody that is calling me out and saying, oh, reconcile, there's no problem. As far as I'm concerned, I, there's no problem. Monday's Fresh Dumbo is, is my witness. As far as I'm concerned, there's absolutely no problem, you know? Uh, obviously, he might feel some type of way. Maybe he thought maybe because I went to Nexus and I, 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 I didn't. I'll give you a scenario. Say, for example, I'm, I'm in that position, right? Then I bring all the artists that I had from Kiami and I bring them to Nexus. Everybody's gonna jump and say, oh, this guy is not fair. You know, there's so many artists, but why did you bring all these artists to the record label? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be that issue. And now that it wasn't there, people still talk. Either way, people are still going to have something to talk about. Of course, I floated the names, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, um, even as I was there, it's a board that sits. It's not my, even if I'm a C, I'm just a CEO. I'm not the owner of the company, you know what I'm saying? I don't make the final decision. So there's me and five other people that have to make decisions, okay? So they sit and say, okay, cool, these are the names that we have here. Who are we picking? The five people decide, you know? Who decide? Who's, 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 who's got the hype right now? Who is doing what? You know what I'm saying? And you know, when you put those names there, there's this name, there's this name, this, 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 this. I'm not going to mention who was picked with him because I don't want to create another, you know, another, I don't want to open another Pandora's box. But obviously you see, oh, you know, this guy is popping right now. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got the numbers. You know, I'd rather we go with this guy than we go with, with this. But prior to that, Obviously, my decision was obviously, um, and, and this, you know, Fresh Dumbo can, can back it up. I would say two, three months before I had moved to Nexus, I'd called off. I said, listen, can we sit and try and work on an album? He never go back to me. You know, it's something I didn't want to talk about, but, you know, just to clear that air, just to, you know, to show people that there's absolutely, on my end, there's absolutely nothing nothing that I feel like was a problem. So if anything of that nature happened, then I don't know who he's been sitting down and talking to and you know him coming and calling me out on a song. And to be honest, I was not really upset. I'm always disappointed, obviously. But listen, family is family, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's my young brother. I still reach out to him, I'll call him, you know, and, and, I'll, and I'll continue to try to talk to him, you know, because as far as I'm concerned, you're not always gonna get along with family. Sometimes you feel like, oh, you know, this happened, but you grow from that, you know, you, you, you understand. You know, even me, sometimes I make mistakes, you know, I'm, I'm human, you know, but you can always come to me and say, ah, KB, I was not happy, blah, 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 blah. We talk about it. Yeah. But if you choose to use another route, what am I to do? That's what's been trending. I don't know if I can say miscommunication. Uh, I read more of uh, the comments. Yeah. I don't know if you take your time to read comments. There's absolutely no miscommunication. You see, the comments, the comments, you should understand that social media now has been abused. You know, people feel like when they come on social media now, they can say whatever. People say whatever they want to say. You know, some people will not even ask you. They will just go, but why is this so? Why is this so? Oh, you're a bad-hearted person. Why didn't you do this? Without understanding fully what happens. But you see I've come to understand that a, a fan that is listening and is commenting it does the same you know they do the same to your maps to market too and it's, it's 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 a trend that mm. we, we've seen it's not there's zero miscommunication communication is always there I'm always professional about what I do mm -hmm. that I'll tell you like even ask any artist like I respectfully reach out to people and when somebody says they can't do something I respectfully you know respect that you know because mm. what's the point of trying to have somebody on something that they didn't want in the first place 
even if I try to say, oh, let's reconcile, I can't force it. You should be excited to be a part of something that I'm trying to do. It's the same way J Cash or T Sean or TAP were excited. They sent back the vocals within a day because they bought into the idea and they loved the idea. You know, and I told them to be free in whatever they want to talk about in a song, and, and they delivered within a day. And for me, that's what I like. like if, I come, if I come to you and say, I want something, blah, blah, we talk about it. You're excited to do something, yes. If you're not, there's nothing I can do. Mm -hmm. You know, you now can't come back to me and say, oh, you left out somebody, why, blah, blah, blah. I reached out. That's the most important thing, mm -hmm. you know. So if somebody decides for whatever reason that they have, obviously he has his reason why he declined, you know, and it is what it is. Yeah. You know? So... How's the record label going, Nexus? Um, I am not too sure. I've said this on 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 on, semi, on several occasions. I I haven't done any work for Nexus since last year uh, September. You know, I haven't I haven't made any decisions. Um, the company is not in my hands. Um, I haven't resigned because I still do. Uh, a few works in the background, so I still handle the digital side of, of the company. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, but in terms of what is happening, decision making, artists being signed, or decisions that are being made to drop music, I have zero say in that. Mm -hmm. We expect on that act today. It's, a, it's, it's another beautiful album. It's a continuation from Love and Heartbreak. Uh, I don't want to preempt anything as we're doing this interview. Uh, I'll put out the track list uh, hopefully later on today so people can have an idea who goes where. And the Diary uh, 12 is also on this particular album. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, you know. Uh, one of your favorite songs. I'm sure there's a song on there that I know you're going to love. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so, yeah. All I'm saying is that, you know, come through to the event. The event is happening at Fox and, Fox and Hound uh, on Thursday uh, from 19 to midnight, and we keep time. Uh, for me, time is, is, is very cut. You know, when I say 19, it's 19. You know, I, I, video premiere is going to be at 21 hours. If you come late, then you are late for the event because Friday people are going for work. So for me, it's not going to be like, oh, 21, then we do something at midnight, no. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you're one of the few people that actually play uh, Ordinary Love on radio. I mean, I haven't necessarily heard it on some of the big stations. I rarely hear it on, on, on radio. But what makes me happy is that despite all that, the song has gone on to become a huge song. It's my most, best, the best performing song. It's, it's almost 400,000 uh, YouTube views in just three months, which is incredible. Uh, my last song that had so many uh, views is like at 350, the one I did with Sheffy, and it's like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So I really love her to, to achieve that in three months, going to four months, it's, it's incredible. It means that it's, it's on its way to hitting a million. Um, it's the most streamed on Spotify, it's the most streamed on, on Apple, it's the most streamed on Boomplay. It's the most streamed song everywhere. And I remember when I first played it for you and you just said, this is the song. And you know, for me it was like, I knew it was a good song, but I didn't think it was going to be that impactful. So yes, and not only in Zambia, but it's, it's done well in Nigeria, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, Kenya, a bit of Tanzania, but it, Uganda is doing extremely well as well. So. You know, it makes me really, really proud. Your honest truth uh, in regards with comparing the bar yeah. for the current state of Zambian music right now, 2022, yeah. how would you describe it? It's very, very good. Okay. What people not realize, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your music sounds the same, it's telling these artists and yada, 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 but you have to start looking at the numbers. We, we've reached the point where now, you know, like even artists from outside are looking at us. I mean, look at how many millions we're hitting. Your Maps is now consistently hitting 1 million views on YouTube within a month. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at um, Calligraph Jones is slightly behind what Your Maps is doing. And you know, and we, we look at Zambia as a small country in terms of music, but that is changing. And all that is changing in front of our eyes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, right now, Your Maps is the most streamed artist on Boomplay in Southern Africa. The most streamed, not like among the most streamed mm -hmm. in Southern Africa. So it just tells you, you know, where we are. Obviously, we still need a bit of some catching up on Spotify because, you know, as Zambians, we haven't really um, gravitated so much on using Spotify. I mean, they are using it, but not as much as 
as much as boom play because of the model, you know what I'm saying? So that tells you that we actually do support our own and we stream, but maybe, you know, the other apps were a bit cumbersome for them, so, you know, so the numbers are still lacking, but we st we're still getting there. So I feel like, you know, in the next two, three years, everybody that is coming up now are going to be huge beneficiaries, you mm -hmm. know? It would be easy for us now to, to walk up to, you know, these are the superstars and, you know, just be able to just rub shoulders and just be colleagues now, you know, not being looked at, oh, that small country, like, oh, I want to do a collab with you, or oh, let's see your numbers, oh, this guy only had 200,000, like, you want to do a collab with Zambian artists, go three, four, five million streams, or YouTube views, like, oh, okay, he actually even have more streams than me, of course, I want to tap into his market, mm -hmm. so, you know, other artists will be able to just collaborate with us without any problem, so, yeah, so I, I, I see us heading that direction, I see us, I see people like Yo Mabs, Chile One, and, you know, a couple other people, you know, called to collaborate with us, not us calling them, but other artists calling us to collaborate with them, so it's it's a good time to be a Zambian artist, I feel like now, and that's the reason why I was like, why did you, you said you're going to retire, I feel like now is when things are starting to open up like now this when like you can see how the music industry is blossoming you know what i'm saying like there's money now like you know you're hitting one million streams you know that's money coming into your account you know what i'm saying so it's it's a great time to be in the music industry to be honest you have been doing this for a while a very long now time. long yeah. time what should they expect in this business but the upcoming producers that are coming up now are coming at a generation when they can make money. So you have to find a way to coexist. I know there's going to be a lot of problems. I see this problem with artists and producer where when a producer make a record and say, okay, you know what, we have to share, you know, uh, what comes out of this. So now there's always that tug of war, like, ah, no, but I'm the owner of the song. Why do you want to get this cut or whatever? But it's business, you know, you agree and say, this is what we want to do. For me, that never worked out. So I found my own formula and I ran with my formula and my formula has been working for the last six, seven years. My formula is to make my own records, you know. So for example, I reach out to artists, you know, uh, uh, I reach out to an artist, an artist does something for me, I do something for you, you know, we all square, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't come and cry and say, oh no, but the song has done well, can I have, yeah, but the song is big, you're also performing the song. Mm -hmm. And I've also created a song for you that is doing big, and I'm not claiming anything, you know. That model for me has worked. But it doesn't mean that you should also do it. You do what you think is going to work and make your own money. So producers also have to make their money. Mm -hmm. So I went the Khalid, the DJ Khalid way, and I'm happy it's working out pretty well. All right, looking forward to the album. Yeah. Uh, I know there's so much expectations. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I know social media is still waiting to get to give their opinions. Oh, your opinions. Op opinions are always welcome. I mean, you know, um, because obviously there's a lot of people that just are there just waiting for any sort yeah. of failure so yeah. they can they can pounce on me and say ah no this is whack or this is why this is you know what i'm saying hey, it's okay i mean i guess that's what social media is there for is to create a conversation uh like i i remember i was seeing some comments mm -hmm. oh market two's albums with, uh, it's uh, it's on six million streams yeah. in, in just two weeks what are you talking about do you read comments? I read, I, not, I mean, I, I, I read what I can. I mean, you can't manage to read 800 comments. Do some get to you sometimes? Used to, but not anymore. You know, you, you know, you get to a point where, you see, like a person like me, I've been in the industry for 17 years, yeah. 17, 18 years. Some of the people that put those comments are 17, 18 year olds. You know what I'm saying? These are kids that are like my son's age. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? I mean. You get to a point where if, 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 if you try to react to everything, it just makes you petty as well. You know, you should be able to just ignore. The only thing that will get to me is like if somebody says something that is sensible, like if you tell me something that I feel like, oh, this person has a point, you know what I'm saying? And maybe that will get to me, but just a regular message of somebody just insulting me or, you know, saying something, you know, I look at it and just, I just, I just brush it off, you know, I... I don't let it get it to me, you know, so, no, I would say it doesn't really get to me. I don't remember the last time I got touched about something. It just, maybe sometimes you can get a little irritated, mm -hmm. but that's normal because that's the whole point, you know, sometimes fans want to 
want to get some attention and you know uh, wind you up and just get you into your feelings so that you respond then for them it's like an achievement like oh I managed to get to PMC and he responded to me and you know it's like yeah can you see then you know screenshot and shows his friend yeah and then like one sign you know mm. stuff like that but yeah. you know it is what it is the same people that come and you know insult you or say whatever the same people they're gonna stream your album and, 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 and make you money so either way you know you you still embrace them that's the reason why we don't block them yeah. Yeah. You know, we just, you know, we impress them. I mean, we see what they say. Some have actually come to apologize years after, you know, when because some people that even say these things don't even know who you are in person. Mm -hmm. So when they when they meet you, then they realize, like, oh, he's actually a different kind of person, you know, then they apologize to you and you move on from that. Amazing. It was great having a conversation with you. Always great. Uh, we're still counting down to that album as well. Looking forward to get to uh, yeah, yeah. play some of the songs on radio. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're having a conversation with Killer Beats KB right here on Yacht. Vibes, but many fans of.